DePaul's very own Sarah Gordon has been a huge factor in the success of the women's soccer program over the past few years. You don't want to mess with her on the soccer field. Um, as much as she's nice and kind off the field, on the field she's relentless and she doesn't take anything from anyone. Um, regardless if it's a practice, if it's an in scrimmage, or if it's against an opponent, she always brings her best and that's what you can expect from her. Um, but Sarah is a, a really tough, hard-nosed, very driven, very focused and a super competitive athlete. Um, she's been blessed with tremendous skill. Um, you know, she's got terrific speed and, and great quickness. When Gordon came to DePaul as a freshman, they won a total of three games that season. But the program turned around during Sarah's junior year when her team became the first in DePaul's history to win the Big East women's soccer title and earn the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. This past year, Sarah made history of her own by being the first DePaul women's soccer player to get drafted in the National Women's Soccer League. Sarah attended the draft in Baltimore, but she almost didn't go. A few days before, a friend of mine who's now going to play at the Houston Dash, she convinced me to go to the draft. She's like, once in a lifetime, like, you know, never going to get this back. So I was like, fine. So we drove the night before through the entire night from Chicago, and then we got there, like, got ready 30 minutes before the draft and went to the draft. And I was remember Sarah's lucky she had gone because it was there that she got a text message that would forever change her life. Right before I got picked, it was like Red Stars on the clock. They get like five minutes to pick. And um, a few seconds later, I got a text from the head coach, Rory, and he was like, welcome to the Chicago Red Stars. With the second pick in the third round of the 2016 NWSL College Draft, the Chicago Red Stars select Sarah Gordon, DePaul University. And um, just when I got called, though, when I got the text, everything just went silent in my head. Hi, guys. So um, I'd like to thank the Red Stars. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I have to thank Coach, Chast Coach Chastain and all of the DePaul coaching staff for um, always supporting me and most importantly, my family for always supporting me. And I'm really excited to start my professional career. Thank you. Sarah, who couldn't be more thrilled about playing for her hometown team, will also be teammates with Team USA's Julie Johnson. She says she cannot wait to learn from the gold medalist. Just anything I can learn from her. She's such a leader on the field, and just the opportunity to play with her, next to her, practice with her would be an amazing experience. Teammate Elise Wyatt remembers the exact moment before Sarah's name was called. I was actually watching the draft. Um, so I was just waiting, I was waiting, and I was waiting to see if any, any of our DePaul girls would have got picked up. And I remember having my phone out recording it, and as soon as I saw her face come out, I, I screamed with excitement because I was like, this is awesome, this is so amazing for her. So I took a picture, um, I tweeted it at her, and then I just sent her a message about how proud I was of her and how you know, she's really created a name for DePaul and herself. DePaul Athletic Director Jean Lenti agrees that Sarah has set the standard for the next level of student athletes coming to DePaul. You're, you know, you're chasing what Sarah Gordon had done and, and the level of commitment that she made. Elise, who credits Sarah for making her a better soccer player, knows this means the world to her. The girl has gone through a lot and I think to come out as a professional soccer, soccer player at the end of your college career is something amazing and beautiful and I think Hard work pays off, and I definitely believe that Sarah deserves this after everything she's been through and the, um, the effort and the energy that she's put into DePaul's program. Coach Aaron Chastain, who had been with Sarah since her freshman year, couldn't be reached for an interview, but said, I am really excited for Sarah and for our program. She has had a great career at DePaul, especially her last two seasons. She can play and make an impact at the next level. Being able to compete at the next level has always been a dream of Sarah's but there have been many obstacles she had to overcome. The summer of her sophomore year, Sarah found out she was pregnant and was in complete shock. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I knew how, you know, when something like that happens, I knew how disappointed, you know, people counted on me and I knew how disappointed people would feel and um, I was scared. With the help of her parents, Sarah was able to continue playing soccer. My parents are my main support system. Um, since I've lived there and uh, during season, they take them to games and um, they have to help me watch them like on weekends and when I can and stuff. So they have been incredible. Being able to continue and fulfill her dream isn't just about Sarah anymore. It's about her and her two-year-old son, Caden. He's honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, kind of my freshman, sophomore year, like I said, I was kind of like lost, a lost soul. And I just kind of went through the motions on the soccer field too and in life and 
after having him, I had to sit out a season, and it made me, you know, having him and loving him made me fall in love with the game all over again. Um, it made me a different player, a different person, and yeah, he just, he means everything to me. He makes me a better person. Since having her son and being a mother, Sarah has a new dream she hopes to achieve. My goal is to inspire him and to inspire people and for people to look at me and say, you know, despite what your situation is, you can do like what you want to do. And it sounds so cliche, but it's true. And so I just want to, I want him to be able to look at me and say, you know, I am inspired and I can achieve my dreams too. If you were in my shoes, what question would you want me to ask you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess just, I mean, I guess it's already kind of been answered, but just why you do what you do, you know, like what motivates you to do it. And mine is my son, so. Reporting for Good Day to Paul, I'm Jenna Duddleston.